Well, I, I guess I've been called up here because I work in technology. Uh, I found my Waldorf education to be, thankfully, absent of most of it. Uh, I think we learned to type on, on a, a regular typewriter, and I wasn't very good at that. Uh, in my household, we didn't have a phone, I think, until I was eight. <laughs> so I'm not who you'd expect to be designing tomorrow's healthcare technology. Um, but I found that m the strength of not having grown up in a technology, not having been biased toward a coding language or a way of doing things, and being much more open and curious about what could it be, how can we serve people, not, uh, well, what are the pieces we already have and how do they fit together, has actually been a great strength in my work. Our clients come to us because they're asking, how can we stand out from the market? How can we build a better system for doctors? Or how can we build a better finance system that people will use, that people will be able to do their jobs with? And they come to us not because they don't have enough engineers, not because they don't have enough clinicians. They have all of that. They know their product too well. And they come to us to actually to have us think of a new way of doing it. And in Waldorf, we were never taught to look for the one answer. We were taught to look for an answer, to look at multiple perspectives around an issue. And I, I feel like that has been really what has led me to where I am in my work of, of helping people design new things.